us your background in education. Do you have any degrees? You know, I have never gone to college. I've never been to college, but I have many personal experiences that college can't compare to. What you learned in college can't compare to. Um, what I have learned, what I have learned in my personal life, I look back and I know I would not have learned that in college. Um, I. I have attended many workshops and many different types of training related both to my career and my personal interests. I also really enjoy um, volunteering for various things, meeting people from all walks of life to gain different perspectives and also be a part of a team. It's very true. Well, what you said about college, college cannot teach you everything. But speaking of college, um, think back on any of your years in education and any of your past job experience, which you've told me a little bit about so far, um, have you ever helped initiate a big change that was independently your role in doing so? And if so, what exactly was that change? And how did you implement it? Again, I, I never went to college, but in my personal and professional experience, I have um, experienced a group called Early Degree um, Death Intervention. And this is a group that supports deaf babies who failed the hearing test and their oftentimes and, and their parent their hearing parents don't know what to do. I envisioned a deaf mentorship program. For two years I discussed this program. I looked around and I in our area and I thought about the the need for deaf mentorship for uh, deaf babies of hearing families and I realized there's no one with this role in our area so it's definitely a needed position so I continued to talk about this and ask questions I presented my idea to the group and we discussed it. We decided that there was a big need for a mentorship program. So they decided to give me money to start this program. And it was incredibly successful.
there was one family with a daughter who was deaf and for the first time she was able to sign more and use her native language and it was very wow, inspiring you just and a wonderful experience. I'm really proud to have um, created that positive change. It really impacted me. Thank you for sharing that. Well, I think we're going to be soon wrapping up. Do you have any more questions for me? Anything that's come up in your mind thus far in the interview? Yeah, you know, I'm curious about what the hours for this position are. Yep, it's going to be full time, and you will be paid uh, 22 bucks an hour, starting pay. Um, you will have three weeks of prior training. I know you have experience, but we just want to make sure that everything is good to go. For sending you out to your job site. What about in terms of what your hours are on a daily basis? Um, do we work from eight to five or nine to six? Your hours are gonna go from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. All right, You might have to work some Saturdays. Um, it just all depends and we'll let you know your schedule um, in the future. <coughs> there might be some holidays you do have to work, unfortunately. Um, but we'll, we'll always tell you very far in advance which holidays they will be and um, if there's any overtime with them, they will be then. We have an odd policy where it depends on specific holidays what your overtime pay will be. It's, it's an odd thing, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure you will be happy to work those holidays with a nice overtime pay. I'm sure if I'm hired, we can discuss that more. For overtime pay? Yeah, definitely. It also depends on your prior experience, and I have to go to the board about this. So. That's, um, we're just going to have to negotiate on that with the board, and then we'll let you know at a, a later date. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Teresa, I, I love that you came in. I'm torn. I really think you're an awesome candidate.